You see this stuff? It's like feeding candy to a baby, except we're gonna feed it to the worms. G'day, my name's Marty Ware, agricultural horticulturist from Australia. If you wanna learn how to farm worms the right way, from A to Z, then subscribe to my channel. Heaps of content coming on the way. So we're here at the Hungry Bin, guys. And I've got the worm candy here. We're gonna feed this to the worms. It's gonna be lots of fun and I'll tell you what it is. It's a mixture of cooked oats and white rice. Now, simple carbohydrates mixed with complex, except the oats has got a bit of honey through it. And I think that really helps. Just the sugars in here set the microbiology off and must be a, just like a food fest festival for them. Um, great stuff going on inside the hungry bin here. Let's get this cardboard layer, so our worm trap our invention there, get in underneath, feed these guys. Look at all these juicy worms, look at this stuff. All through that cured cardboard. Don't want to drop any, just because I've just got so many here. And I'm feeding it underneath this whole trap here which I've actually destroyed a bit. And that'll probably be too much, just about a handful. We'll put some worms in there. But they probably won't eat that for a few days. It's got to sort of start going a bit funky, get some bacteria on it. Cover this back over again. And this all needs to be repaired, basically. So let's come back about two or three days and we'll have a look inside and see if the worms have gone for their worm candy. I'm pretty sure they would have. They just love this stuff. So I'm super excited to check the Hungry Bean Worm Farm where we gave the worms the candy, right? <laughs> Which is the rice and the oats with a little bit of honey mixed through it. Now, it's just over there, the Hungry Bin. She feels like it's gonna rain. It's a bit cold, no Marty's Garden t-shirt today. I need a Marty's Garden jumper, I think. I had a quick sneak peek at the worms and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. They're a bit blown out. Well, I am. All right, let's head over, have a look inside the hungry bin, shall we? This piece of cardboard, I'm not trash. I got that from YouTube when I got my uh, YouTube bag for uh, Earth Week, which they, um, yeah, I was in Earth Week, which was pretty cool. Now, on top, this is the next experiment that's going on, but we won't get into that too yet because it hasn't really been mentioned on the show. Now, look at all these worms on top. Man, I'm telling you, it's just going to go mental. Now, they're all going to dig down in here, so we're going to get nice and close and zoom in. And we're going to take a bit of a deep dive into that area, right? So let's have a look at that. see if they got into that worm for candy mix you can see I've got tens of thousands of worms now it's right under here oh wow I can just see like the tiniest little bit of material left after three days that's just oh no there it is there it is they're on top of it so they're pretty interested in it. Oh, no, they've eaten a lot of it. It's mixed through there, still, still a bit to go. Still needs a bit more breaking down. But look, these are all these are all tigers. We've just literally got thousands upon thousands of tigers in this system now because of this whole way I've been building this hungry bin. Now you been, need to be watching the vlogs to learn about that a lot more, but. Yeah, this is the area where I feed in there, then they come up through these top layers here and into these sections, which is now all falling apart. I've got to rebuild uh, all this now. I'll, so I'll zoom out and we'll have a look in, in between some of the layers too. Look, they're just in here everywhere, man. Everywhere. 
And yeah, I'm pretty sure they have eaten a bit of that, that rice and stuff already. They're probably waiting for it to go a bit more funky. I think what we can conclude so far that it just needs to go a little bit further, this material, a few more days, uh, get a bit more bacteria in it. And that, you know, they normally start eating it and worm balling around at this time. But because this material has just got so much bioactivity in through this cured cardboard, they're really interested in this. And I'm really surprised because that stuff, like I said before, it's always like candy to worms. But this cured cardboard's obviously taken over. I'll give you a little sneak peek on the next video coming up, one of the trials that we're doing. The coated coffee cardboard. Will they come into it? Keep watching the vlog to find out more, guys. More coming up. We'll put the I'm Not Trash cardboard back on top and keep you updated whether they attack that coffee cardboard coated cardboard. Yeah, exciting times. So how's that, guys? I'm just going to get this finished before the rain moves in. Ooh, it's getting a bit, little bit chilly, but those worms are really active, aren't they? And I think they're happier eating the cured cardboard at the moment. They're just really moving into that. I think extra bacteria is sort of building up in there and they're feeding in that system. It's really, really interesting to see. So stay tuned for the coffee coated cardboard that'll be coming up in the next experiment and we'll see if they move on to that and start feeding hard on it, all right? Have a great day, happy worm farming and we'll see you at the next vlog real soon. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. We'll see you at the next video. Ciao for now. After you subscribe, guys, head down and check out the links in the description area. There's a really cool video also about becoming a worm wrangler and learning all you need to know about worm farming.